Periscope. Well, good morning, Periscope. As you can see, we late this morning. Come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in. Rise and shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. Rise and shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. Arise and shine, for thy light has come, and his glory is rising upon you. Good morning. Uh, let's see. Let's, it's Sunday morning. Y'all usually a little slow on Sunday morning. Folks are sleeping in just like I did today. <laughs> All right, let me say, uh, get my good mornings in, get my shout outs in to you, um, give people a chance to get on, show me some love, let me get some hearts. Um, let's see what's what's going on out here today. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Matt Lynn. Let's see who else is here this morning. Good morning. All right, looks like I'm about 80,000 hearts. No, 90 something thousand hearts from um, from a million. Now, if y'all just blow me up real big today, I may come on a couple of times so y'all can just blow me up real big with hearts. We can crack that million mark today. What is that healthy? Okay, let's see if I can get a little better, better view. All right. So y'all can blow me up with hearts today. I'm at nine, uh, let's see, it says 912,022. All right. Y'all come on in, invite some followers. I know we're just, I'm running a little late today. Running a little late today. Um, so y'all come on, invite your followers. Tell them, come on in, come on in. Come on in the room. Good morning, Teresa, the real, the real somebody. All right, everybody's coming in a little bit slow. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and get cracking. Listen, you know, all last month in the month of May, hashtag May Miracles was powerful, yet it is still powerful. The miraculous is still working, still flowing. Uh, the miraculous is still working, it's still flowing. Uh, this month, hashtag activate miracles, hashtag June Jubilee. We are um, flowing in it, advancing it, stirring people up, getting people excited about the miraculous, getting people excited about miracles. Man. All right. So let's get ready to get cracking in this in, um, in, in, in just a second. You got your people on Tweet It Out. Come on, tweet it out, share it, swipe up. If you're on an Android, swipe left to right. If you're on an iPhone, then hit that little phrase that says share broadcast. Hit on this, share it, and uh, just release it, and then let it go. All right, here we go. Um, what's going on in Russia? Greetings in Russia. Come on in from around the world. Jesus. Is still working miracles today. Jesus is still working miracles today. All right, let's get into this, y'all, and then we're going to uh, talk a little bit last night. Last night, if you didn't catch me when I was popping on last night, I popped on last night. Um, okay. Uh, popped on last night from the Kurt Franklin concert last night in Durham. Uh, me and my wife were, were out last night at the concert, and it was... It was off the chain, uh, regardless of what people, people's personal opinions may be uh, in regard to um, uh, Kurt Franklin. The concert was off the chain, but I'll talk about that maybe at the end, or maybe I'll come back on later and talk about it. Uh, but my last Periscope from last night, I had a Periscope uh, 
kind of with Kurt uh, when I got up there. We didn't get a chance. I didn't really get a chance to interview him and talk to him last night. But anyway, I had a good time. All right, let's check this out. Jesus is still doing miracles. Come on, y'all. Uh, John chapter 4. John chapter 4. I saw some of that last night. Cool. But you got to see the after the concert stuff because he's crazy. All right, here we go. Uh, then when... Then when he was coming to Galilee, the Galatians received him, having seen all the things that he did in Jerusalem at the feast. They also went on to the feast. Um, I want to say that, that this, when we get, um, some people are not going to believe, not unless they see the demonstration and the power of God. Now, let's keep reading. I'm going to talk about that. Verse 46. I started John 4, 4 and 45. Verse 46. So Jesus came again into Cana of Galilee, where he made the water in the wine. All right. Remember, I was setting that up that how Jesus uh, shook up the systems of that day, uh, that it was very prophetic. It was not just the, the, the sense of them running out of wine. Uh, at the wedding feast, but it was very symbolic uh, that it was moving very, it was very symbolic that the prophetic, uh, it was a prophetic statement that you need the new wine, that there's a new order, there's something new uh, getting ready to take place. So he set, he, he upset uh, the order, the systems of that day, um, because it was customary that you would drink the good wine in the beginning of the feast. Jesus shows up. His mother comes to him. He turns the water into wine. It's the best wine uh, that the governor of the feast has ever tasted. You know, and so the scripture says that the last shall be first and the first shall be last. It, it references that the, the apostles were counted also as, as last. And so I believe that it was speaking um, very uh, prophetically into the fact that you need to have the new wine in order to accomplish uh, the assignments, the task um, in which God has. Uh, so, well, listen, you had to have the new wine if you're going if you're going to be if you're going to be working miracles. Come on, if you're going to walk in a miracle, if you're going to walk in a miraculous, you got to have some new wine flowing out of you. All right, let's keep going. Uh, verse 46. So Jesus came down in Cana of Galilee where he made the water into wine. And there was a certain nobleman, okay, whose son was sick in Capernaum. And when he heard that Jesus was come to Judea into Galilee, he went unto him and besought him that he would come down and heal his son, for his son was at the point of death. Come on. This noble man hears that Jesus is in the in that Jesus is in the vicinity, that Jesus is in the region. There's a move of God in the region. Come on. That there's a move of God that is in the region. He hears that there's a move of God. His son is at the point of death. And he says, if I can just get to Jesus, come on. Uh, welcome, apostle and prophetess. Uh, if I can just get to Jesus, if I can get to the area where where God, where Jesus is moving, where the miraculous is moving, come on. Someone's at the point of death. Now, this is verse 40, 48. This is interesting. He says that, Then Jesus said unto him, Except ye see signs and wonders, you shall not believe. Come on. And many, I've heard this talked about many times by preachers, uh, where they talked about, except a person would see signs and wonders, they would not believe. But when they were speaking of this, they many times they were speaking of this in a negative connotation. They were speaking, speaking about it in a negative way. But I don't believe here in verse 48 in uh, John 4 that Jesus meant this in a negative way. Jesus began and he said, This then said Jesus unto him, Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. Come on. And I think he was making a, a prophetic statement here. I believe that this was the word. Come on, this is the testimony of Jesus himself. 
and he is saying this. Uh, then in verse 49, it says, And the nobleman saith unto him, Sir, come down here. My child is dying. Come on. See, when you get, um, and I've talked about this before, that many times that the that people don't see the miraculous or they don't embrace the miraculous until uh, they come to a point of desperation. And so here this is, this noble man in the region, a noble man in the area found out that Jesus was there. Jesus was in the region. And he found out that Jesus was in the region. So he made his way to him. And he says, uh, the noble man said unto him, come down, my son, come down here. My son, my child is about to die. My child is dying. And sometimes some of us, we don't really want, we don't believe or don't look forward or call upon the miraculous, upon the miracle until we get to a point of desperation. We found out though earlier uh, in, in the month of May that we found out that miracles are our right and not our privilege. In other words, that it is our legal entitlement to expect the miraculous to take place because we are citizens of the kingdom of God. Come on. And so he goes on, um, he goes on and in and, and verse 50, it says, Jesus said unto him, go thy way, thy son lives. Okay. When the man is leaves, his son is near death. Um, it, it says that his son is near the point of death in verse, in verse 47, he says, and uh, and heal my son, for he was at the point of death when I left. Then verse 50, Jesus said unto him, go thy way, thy son lives. Come on. Now we found out, he, he asked Jesus to come, but we found out that Jesus did not physically have to go with him to work the miracle that the man needed. And listen, y'all, if you've been hanging with me with hashtag May Miracles, and now we're in June, Activate Miracles, June Jubilee, and all this other hashtags, and all this great and powerful stuff that we found out that, that, that God is working in these days because he said, I need somebody to work miracles. Why don't I see miracles? I asked the Lord. He said, because I need somebody to work them. And we find out in Acts 19, 11, uh, you're going to hear these scriptures. You're just going to keep hearing me say them because I'm pumping faith inside of you. In God 19, 11, God wrought special miracles and God worked special miracles by the hands of Paul in that uh, many that were sick were healed and many that had demons, the demons came out of them. So, we, so we're finding out, even as Jesus was showing this man right here, he says, go thy way, thy son liveth. I, I, that I don't have to be in your city. I don't have to be in your state. I don't have to be in your nation. Come on. I, I don't have to be where you are because God anointed somebody to create this medium called Periscope. And all I've got to do is sit back in my kitchen and begin to let the prophetic anointing flow, let the apostolic grace that's upon my life, come on, and, 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 and the miraculous uh, aspect of this being a sent one flow to you wherever you are through your device. You don't have to come here. All I've got to do is declare the word that your, that, that, that your, that your oh, glory to God, that your elbow is being healed in the name of Jesus. Come on. That's not an example. That's a word. Come on. Somebody's elbow is being healed right now in Jesus' name. I challenge you to begin to move that elbow in the name of Jesus. So Jesus didn't have to go where the man was. Come on. I command your elbow to be healed now in Jesus' name. Come on. Whoever you are, grab it, receive it. Let me know that, that God is touching it right now. All right, here we go. And he said, and the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him. Come on. Jesus said, your, your son lives, and then it says, and the man believed the word that Jesus said. Come on. So check this out. I see a pattern. I see, I see a pattern here. I'm look, I, I see a lot of times I, I call them apostolic patterns or prophetic patterns. This is, I see a pattern here. Now, there is a pattern. What is a pattern? A pattern is something 
that you follow. And if you follow the pattern, you will get the results in which the pattern says that you're supposed to get. All right. For example, there are there are uh, uh, there are uh, dress patterns. There are suit patterns. Come on, there are weather weather patterns. There, there's all types of patterns. But so there's a pattern yet here for the miraculous. Jesus spoke the word. Okay, let me rewind it. The man comes. Here's the pattern. The man comes to Jesus because he needs a miracle. First, you got to come expecting. Come on, you've got to come expecting it. Uh, uh, you've got to come expecting that the miraculous will take place. Come on. Secondly, he believed that if he, 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 he secondly, he believed that if he got to Jesus, something would happen, all right? He believed that if he got to Jesus, if he got in the right environment, that's what I want you to do. If you got in the right environment, if you got in the right atmosphere, come on. If, 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 the, if you got in, in, in the place of the right type of worship, come on, the, the, that the atmosphere was conducive for God to move and to speak, and for the prophetic to flow and for healing to flow and to the miraculous to be activated and stirred up. He came expecting that if he could get to Jesus, that his dying son would no longer be dying. You hear what I'm saying? Come on. I believe many of you, because of what has already been happening for the last uh, over 30-something days here on Periscope, even really from the beginning of the year since I've been doing Periscope, that people come here because they, they believe that this is the right atmosphere. Come on. They believe that something has been happening because somebody's been telling them there's some testimonies going on around six o'clock in the morning on Periscope. Come on, get with me. And so there's a pattern that here that I see that develops. And so Jesus says in verse 50, go thy way, thy son liveth, and then the man believes. The word is spoken, okay? Listen, many times, if you've been watching me, through the prophetic. The prophetic, I've been telling you, is the entrance into the supernatural. The word of knowledge stirs up and God begins to reveal situations and circumstances that people need the miraculous to move in their life. And so here, it, so this is that, that same type of pattern. So Jesus said unto him, go thy way, thy son live. And so I will speak a word or get a word of knowledge. And I will say, you know, uh, somebody who's having uh you're having uh, problems in your right knee. Uh, you actually have severe uh, uh, knee problems uh, to the point that I don't, it's either you're getting injections into your knee or they want to put injections into your knee. But hear the word of the Lord today, even as this man heard the word of the Lord that came up out of the mouth of, out, out of, the mouth of Jesus. Because, you know, Jesus said the words that I speak to you, that they are spirit and they are life, that they are Zoe and they are Numa. And so I speak to that knee, particularly a right knee, Either you're getting injections or they want you to get injections into that knee. But in the name of Jesus, I speak to that knee. I command that knee to be whole. I command the pain and I dare you to, I dare you to begin to move that swollen, painful knee. And in the name of Jesus, I command that knee to be made whole now in Jesus' name. Come on. I challenge you to begin to move that knee. Specifically, listen, it is the right knee. Let me help identify you. I just love the prophetic. I love how the prophetic just gets so detailed. At least uh, 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 it is a right knee. Come on. Uh, either you are getting injections or they want to put injections into that knee. And I can even see how that this knee is inflamed. But I challenge you now in the name of Jesus to begin to stretch forth, begin to move it. Come on. It, 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 even if you just got to massage it for a minute, come on. But in the name of Jesus, we command the pain to go out of that knee and we command your knee to be made whole. In Jesus' name, somebody grab hold of that word. Listen, if you're not on live, I know you're on the replay and you're going to get your miracle. Glory to God. And Jesus said unto him, go thy way. And the man believed the word. And so here is the pattern. Jesus speaks the word. Come on. He speaks the word and then the man believes. Come on. 
He speaks it and the man believes. This is the rest of the pattern, all right, leading into the miraculous. If you follow the pattern, in other words, when I was talking about patterns is this, if you follow the pattern and the package says it's a dress pattern, if you follow the directions of the pattern at the end, you're going to get a dress. Come on. If it's a suit pattern and you follow the pattern of the suit, uh, at the end, the end result, if you get a suit, come on, this is a pattern, an apostolic pattern of the miraculous. If you follow this pattern at the end of this pattern, you're going to get a miracle. Come on, somebody. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You're going to, you're going to get what it is that you're supposed to get. If you follow the pattern, somebody just got that. Come on. And he said, go thy way, thy son liveth. And the man believed, come on, the word that Jesus had spoken unto him. And he went his way. He went his way. He went his way. He believed and he went his way. Somebody is experiencing, uh, somebody's experiencing mouth discomfort. I don't know. I, I don't want to. I kind of want to know, I, I, I'm not going to say that it's a toothache, but I, 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 I want to describe it this way. You're experiencing, you're experiencing mouth discomfort. There's some discomfort in your mouth, but we speak to the situation. We speak to your mouth right now. We speak to the discomfort in your mouth. And in the name of Jesus, we command your mouth to be made whole in the name of Jesus. That discomfort to go, I don't know if you got to move, I don't know if it's in the jaw, I don't know if you got to open it and move your mouth up and down or lay your hands on both sides of your mouth. Yeah, lay your hands on both sides of your mouth. And I speak to that discomfort now in Jesus' name, and I command that discomfort to leave your mouth now. Hallelujah. And so he went his way. He believed and then he went his way. Come on. He believed, then he went his way. Verse 51, who's that with the mouth dis discomfort? Grab hold to that word. Believe the word was spoken. Here it is. Believe the word that was just spoken and just go your way. Come on. Verse 51. And as he was now going down, his servants met him and told him saying, thy son lives. Come on. He met his he met his servants met him and they basically said, "Listen, you got your miracle. The miracle, the miraculous, has just showed up at your house." Mm. The his servants met him and said, "The miraculous just showed up at your house. Come on." And so then he begins to do a little investigation. Here it is in verse fifty-two. Then he inquired of them the hour when he began to amend. And they said unto him yesterday about the seventh hour, come on, yesterday about the seventh hour, come on, yesterday about the seventh hour, yesterday about the seventh hour, the fever left him. Come on. The fever left him yesterday. The fever left him according to the word that Jesus had released out of his mouth. The fever left the child. Ooh, rabasa. Come on. Come on. We take authority over fevers right now. We take authority over high fevers in the name of Jesus. We take authority and we rebuke the spirit of a fever. Offer you now. Offer your children now in the name of Jesus. We command your temperature to be normal now in Jesus' name. Uh, yes, I do. That is part of, somebody asked me, do you pick up people's pain? Sometimes I do because that is uh, one manifestation of the uh, discerning, uh, of discerning, and it's also a manifestation of the word of knowledge. All right, let's keep rolling. Mm, let's keep it rolling. All right, verse 53. So the father knew that it was the same hour in which Jesus said unto him, thy son liveth. Come on. It was the same. The father recognized that it was the same hour 
But Jesus said unto him, thy son liveth. Listen, y'all been, been, uh, been, uh, was been been throwing in prayer requests and shooting them at me on um, on Periscope. Uh, I remember that one day we were just taking a request. They were just coming. They were just coming. They were just coming for other people. We were just 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 praying, just hitting it, just speaking the word over it. Boom, 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 boom. I was calling machine gun prayers that day, just shooting them out like a machine gun. And then when you when you inquire of the people whose names that you put up there and you said, hey, they need prayer or healing, they need a miracle for this, and then you get back with them and you find out it was that same hour. Come on that it was in the 6 a.m. hour in which they got their miracle. Come on now. So that father, so the father knew that it was at the same hour in which Jesus said unto him, thy son liveth. Come on. And then it goes on and it says, and himself believed and his whole, come on, somebody say whole. Himself believed and his whole. Whole, W H O L E, his whole. Some people are not going to believe until they see a sign, a wonder, and a miracle. Jesus said in 48, except ye see signs and wonders, ye shall believe not. That wasn't a negative thing. That was a positive thing. And so Jesus demonstrated the miraculous in the life of this man, of this noble man. He believed the word. He went his way. He met his servants. His servants told him his son lives. He said, when did it happen? He said, about the seventh hour. Come on. And he knew that's when it was that Jesus spoke. And then verse 53 again, he says, so the father knew that it was the same hour in which Jesus had said unto him, thy son liveth and himself believed and his whole house. See, some of you, it's going to take a miracle to save your whole house. Come on. It's going to take a miracle in your family to save your whole house. And it says, thy son liveth and himself and himself believed and his whole house. What am I, I'm trying to tell some of you that have been hanging around here and God's been healing you. You've been getting the miraculous. Come on, when you've been, you've been getting it around the sixth hour. Come on. I know the scripture's talking about the seventh hour, but you've been getting it around the sixth hour. Your family is going to realize that the miraculous has come into your house. Come on. And then your whole house is going to believe and get saved because the miraculous is taking place. Mama, you used to couldn't walk up the steps, but Jesus healed me around the sixth hour. Come on. Mama, you used to couldn't, you couldn't run across the room because you had asthma, but I want you to know that Jesus healed me around the sixth hour. Come on. And then heal, not only will you believe, but it says that your whole house will believe. Come on. The word of the Lord came out of the mouth of the man of God and it came to pass around the sixth hour. Come on, that's why I can do. That's why I can bend my knees. That's why I can bend over, bend my back. Glory to God in my back. Don't hurt no, the pain has left my back. Come on, I feel an anointing for backs. When I said that, I felt an anointing for backs. I challenge you, listen, I challenge you. If you're sitting down, if you're laying down and you've got a problem with your back, listen, this has happened numerous, uh, on, on multiple, multiple occasions of people's backs being healed, people's backs backs being healed from accidents. Come on. People's backs being healed that had slipped discs. And I gave them the word and gave them an instruction of the Lord, how the Lord tells me to pray for people. They look at me all puzzled. This is what I do. If you have never been in a in, 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 in one of the services, this is what I do when I pray for somebody's back. I don't know why this is. This is the pattern that's developed in my life. And so the pattern works. So there's no need to deviate from something that's worked. Come on. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm. And so what I do when I pray for people's backs I'll tell them to bend over three times in the name of Jesus. This is how this is how it works. I usually will grab them by the hand, but if it's a multiple line of people, I'll have all the people grab hold, grab hands like a chain, and I'll get on one end, grab their hand, and I say, We're gonna bend just like this. Okay, I grab their hand, I say, We're gonna bend just like this. In the name of Jesus, one. We're going to do it three times. I said on the third time, your back is going to be healed. So I challenge you if you have a back issue to, to, to if you can stand, stand on your feet. If you can't stand, sit up. And I challenge you by faith to begin to move. And then on the third, come on, on the, on 
the, the third time, your back is going to be healed in Jesus' name. And so this is what we would do. I would grab them by the hand. All right. And I said, we're going to bend. And they may only go a little bit the first time in the name of Jesus. One, come on. In the name of Jesus. Two, they go down a little bit further. Ah, I said, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. In the name of Jesus. Three, boom. They would bend down. All of a sudden, people could reach down, touch their toes. The power got him. Bam. They hit the floor. Come on. Bam. Get up off the floor and they back and be healed. People have taken off running around the church. Come on. So if that is you, I command your back to be healed in the name of Jesus. See, that's another pattern. That's how it works. Bam. Be healed in Jesus' name. If you're dealing with your back, come on, somebody, I, I, I didn't say it. Somebody said, if you're not on right now, you're on the rebroadcast. Come on, begin to move that back. That back is being healed. That back, the miraculous is coming into your back even now in Jesus' name. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thy son liveth, is what Jesus said. And he himself believed, good morning, and his whole house believed as well. Come on, the whole house got saved. Come on. Your miracle could transform your whole house. Back be healed in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Activate miracles. In Jesus' name, we pray for your family. We bless your family now in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Your whole house, your whole house. I pray you have a powerful service today. If you're making your way out the service, I pray that you have a powerful service today. I pray that the supernatural, the miraculous manifests itself in your service, especially your apostles and pastors, uh, your elders, your reverends, your preachers that's preaching today, that the miraculous break out in your service in the name of Jesus. What's up, Emma? What's going on down there in Georgia? All right. Well, listen, that's, that, that's it. That's, that's it for the, that's it. Activate miracles. June Jubilee, we're celebrating. Those that got that heat, I wonder that's something going on with a knee. All right, I'm going to rewind that. There's something going on with a knee. Let me re-describe that again so that they can, uh, and let me know. Inbox me. Say something. Uh, let us know that somebody is dealing with a, a knee pain. I remember that you're either they're telling you that it's 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 it's, it's looks like it's severely maybe in, it's severely inflamed. They're, they're, you're getting injection into the knee, or they're they're saying that you need to get injections into the knee. But God is healing that knee and begin to move it. Your miracle has come to your knee. Your miracle has come to your knee. Somebody that was having mouth discomfort. That was, that was one of the other things that I mentioned, and um, the backs. All right. So when God does it, come on, give him the glory when he does it. All right, y'all, that's it for this morning. Oh, man, that was a rough one getting up this morning, y'all. We were out, listen, this is my hour of visitation, yes. Listen, we went out last night to that Kurt Franklin concert and get back till late. Um, if you see my Periscope before this one, we um, Periscoped a little bit uh, after the show. Uh, I didn't, uh, and we got Kurt is on Periscope. He's crazy. Uh, briefly on my Periscope last night when we were getting some photos taken. Uh, so if y'all want to look at that, uh, there was a scope previous to this one, I think was the last one. And uh, he was, he is so crazy. He was standing there just being, let me say this. I, don't, I do want to say this. I mean, I know what all us, us religious people say, you know, about, you know, Kurt Franklin, and he is making songs with this person and that person. Really, y'all, we need to stop it. Do y'all know that Jesus hung out with the prostitutes and the sinners? Come on. So a man makes a record with somebody that uh, we don't know what their spiritual condition is. Come on. They can be carnal Christians, just like y'all carnal Christians that go to church every Sunday. You know, um, and so we want to be we want to be judgmental. But I'm going to tell you all something that he was very gracious 
and his road manager was saying uh, to us that he would not leave the building until, okay, everybody that came there and if they bought um, any of his merchandise or whatever it is, he said that he will not until everyone that, 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 that you know, that, that hung around to talk to him, or that he would not leave the building until he hugged everybody. Listen, hugged them, gave them an autograph, and took a picture with him. Now, I don't know how many uh, folks would actually do that. And in his concert, and I don't know if we scoped this part, he stopped and he said, listen, I want to thank you all for supporting me for all these years because of you listen that i could feed my family that i could put food on my table and that i could take care of my family and it's because of you that i've i've been able to send my kids to college come on he got off the stage on uh at least two or three times came down in the audience uh got right again uh, in in uh, amongst the people asked them what songs they wanted to hear um he started walking through the later on, walking across chairs and, and, and singing and just being just being just being silly, you know, and being real. And so um, I thought he was very, very gracious. So uh, those of us that want to judge and discern um, that um, whatever, whatever it is that y'all be saying on all these blogs and stuff like that. It's been my experience that hey, he was straight up. OK, so anyway, I thought I would just throw that out there. And it don't matter. I don't care what nobody else thinks. No way. I like Kirk Franklin. Okay? So, if y'all don't like him, that's y'all business. Okay, y'all. Let me get on off of here. We had a good time. My wife got her picture with Kirk. That's what she wanted. So, I made sure she got her picture with Kirk last night. And that was it was all good. <laughs> Somebody say, I do too. Come on now. All right, y'all. I'm going to get out here. I got to preach this morning. Um, I don't, I guess I, we, we may scope what I'm going to preach. I want to be dealing in the area of deliverance today. Um, if, if the Holy Spirit doesn't change what I, what I plan on ministering, if this is what is going to minister, I'm going to deal with, um, soul ties and blood ties. I believe that's going to be my topic today. Soul ties and blood ties, soul ties and blood ties. Hmm. What, what do you mean by that? Okay. We know what, um, So, yeah, that's where I'm going to be at today. Uh, 46, 4603 Hillsboro Road in Durham, North Carolina. All right. I got to get out of here. Thank y'all so much for joining. Um, pray for me. All right. Y'all pray for me, Spirit Periscope fam. Like I'll be praying for you. Y'all pray for me. All right. The conference is coming up uh, June 19th. Star Mission 4603 Hillsboro Road um, in Durham, North Carolina. Starts in June the 19th. Uh, we re that'll be that Sunday. Then we'll reconvene on Wednesday. I'm going to be doing a training, training in the prophetic and in deliverance uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I'll be doing a part one, two, and three. I'll be doing activations. We'll be doing prophetic exercises. And uh, my wife is going to be doing, um, she's going to be teaching on prayer and intercession. And she's going to be teaching also on putting together uh, a prayer team, all right, a prayer team, which is very needed. We can't do anything uh, without, listen, you can't, we can't do anything without prayer. Come on. It's the, you, you got to pray. You don't pray. Uh, you got to pray. You got to do pray. All right, y'all. Oh, and then July, July 8th and 9th, we will be in Detroit. July 8th and 9th, we'll be in Detroit for setting the captives free for the deliverance conference there. Setting the um, setting the captives free with Apostle Julie, Apostle Sonia, and uh, Apostle Ivory Hopkins is coming from Delaware. Uh, myself and my wife will be coming from Durham. And then Prophetess Sophia Ruffin, I think she's in the Chicagoland area. All right. And so that's what we got coming up soon. All right, I'm going to get on up out of here. Y'all tell y'all, it was a rough one getting up today. But thank y'all for hanging with me, hanging out with me this morning as usual. All right, we'll be back again uh, later on. We might pop up. Uh, my message might pop up today later uh, if, I, if I get somebody to scope it. 
but um, we'll be dealing in the area of deliverance this morning. All right, y'all. Peace. Thank y'all for joining me. Thank you for those who've been on for, if you're on the, for the first time, it looks like some people have dropped off already. If you're on for the first time, let me know. Let me shout you out before you leave. I know earlier I saw Apostle and Prophetess. I didn't catch your name. Uh, let me give you a shout out. Let me know where you're from on the way out. You are welcome, Eubanks, Shar Eubanks. Thank you so much. Hashtag activate miracles. Come on. Champs Princess. Activate miracles. Yes. Please scope it. All right. Let's see. Yes. Is there uh, anybody on here for the first time today? Amen. Earlier on, I saw I said it said it was apostle and prophet of someone was here. I didn't get your whole name. I want to give you a shout out. Know where you're from. Glory to God. Well, thank you for being on for the first time, June. Oh, I missed it. Okay. Yasmin. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for joining. From Newark. Okay. Newark, New Jersey. I haven't been to New I haven't been to New Jersey in a while. Up in Newark. I haven't been up that way in a long time, but thanks for being on from Jersey. <laughs> Hashtag activate miracles. Hashtag just believe. Yes, just believe. Okay. They must have went off. I was trying to see who that was. I wanted to give them a shout out. Um, but have a great and powerful service today in Jesus' name. Please scope the message today. I'm going to do my best to get the message scoped today. Uh, I probably give it, give one to somebody there to scope it. Let me charge my phone up and all that great stuff so we can do that. All right, y'all. I'm about to roll out and uh, get into this 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 message uh, for today. All right. God bless you. Love you. Until next time. This has been Apostle Mark May, North Carolina. Peace. And remember Matthew 11 and 12. The violent take it by force. <laughs>